Qatar stands in support of Jordan after reports of an alleged coup attempt, and the United States and Iran are set to partake in indirect talks in Vienna this week. While here in Qatar, a worrying rise in COVID-19 deaths. And finally, the holy month of Ramadan is just around the corner. Hello, I'm Farah, and this is The Roundup. Here are today's headlines. Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani called Jordan's King Abdullah II on Sunday, just hours after reports said an alleged coup was foiled by Amman authorities. A security sweep in the Jordanian capital left up to 20 people detained. This included the half brother of the monarch, former Crown Prince Hamza bin Hussein, who said he is now under house arrest. He is accused of being involved in a plot against the king. The Hashemite Kingdom says the country's security is a red line. Now, more updates and efforts to revive the nuclear deal as Iran and the U.S. are set to partake in indirect talks in Vienna this week. This is the first major step forward since former U.S. President Donald Trump withdrew from the historic deal in 2018. However, Tehran says the U.S. must end sanctions before any moves are made and has refused to hold direct negotiations with Washington. On the other hand, the U.S. says the Vienna talks are a healthy step forward and Washington remains open to a direct encounter with Tehran. Qatar has played a crucial role as mediator to bring all sides to the table to de-escalate tensions and restore the deal through diplomacy. For the full report, head on to dohanews.com. And in more somber news, the total death toll for COVID-19 in Qatar has now surpassed the 300 mark. While Qatar has maintained one of the lowest mortality rates in the world, we have in recent months seen an alarming rise in deaths due to the spread of the UK strain. Three people died in January, 10 in February, and 33 in March. This is a 230% increase from last month. Meanwhile, we've now surpassed more than 800 daily cases, making it more important than ever to stay safe, wear your masks, and wash your hands. And finally, the holy month is just around the corner. Astronomers at the Qatar Calendar House have made their prediction for the first day of Ramadan, April 13. However, this is just a prediction and the official decision will be declared by the Moon Sighting Committee at the Ministry of Endowments. Keep an eye out for the Moon and official announcements soon. That was all for me today, but for more of our stories, head on to DohaNews.co. Have a great day.